Catherine Stanley. Um, I'm a graduate student at the University of Saskatchewan. Other than tillage, largely you're focusing on methods of cultural weed control, which are tools such as seeding rate, uh, seeding time, what time in the year, if you're delaying seeding or if you're seeding earlier. Uh, you have to look at things like crop variety, generally just things that you can do to make the crop more competitive in the presence of weeds, uh, especially if you aren't going to be using tillage. Uh, also other options for organic farmers are to use cover crops and mulches and terminating green manures to produce a mulch. My name is Scott Shields. I work for Grain Millers Canada based out of Yorkton, Saskatchewan. They're coming up with ways all the time to uh, better control the weeds, whether it's crop rotations uh, or uh, increased seeding rates. We find that in oats if a guy seeds extra bushels per acre and when he's seeding that they'll control some of the weeds themselves by, by choking them out. The process of harrowing, it is done early in the crop's growth cycle. It can be done right after seeding before the crop emerges. Uh, but it is a useful in-crop mechanical weed control tool, so when the crop is fairly small, if you pass over it with a harrow a few times, generally it has the ability to control small seeded and early emerging weeds, but it is limited, limited by a time frame, so if you're restricted by moisture or soil conditions, it can be challenging to uh, control weeds if you don't get it exactly in that time frame. The difference with the rotary hoe is it's actually a minimum tillage implement. So you can use it when there are uh, heavy crop residue conditions, which is a little bit more challenging when you're using the harrows. Uh, the rotary hoe also a benefit of it is it can go quite quickly, up to about 15 kilometers an hour. And generally, um, also it flicks up really small seeded weeds, which we call at the white thread stage. Um, again, similar to Harrow's, it's fairly restricted by timing of its use because you can only really control weeds during that white thread period. Cultural weed control is essentially anything that you employ by manipulating a cropping system to make the crop more competitive in the presence of weeds. So crop variety, seeding rate, things that you're doing with the crop, not implementing on, onto the crop, such as mechanical weed control. I don't think that there ever is a blanket solution or a silver bullet, as people like to call it. Um, rotary hoe and harrowing, in addition to other mechanical weed control tools and cultural weed control tools, um, they're all part of a larger picture, and it's necessary to utilize as many strategies and have as many strategies at hand in order to successfully and sustainably manage weeds in organic production.